I cannot believe it's been a whole year since the last Max or Genshin video. That's crazy. But anywho, it's been brought to my attention that Max or actually made a brand new video on it, and it's called Genshin Impact is a playable anime. True. Um, let's see what he has to say about it this time. I have no idea what to expect. This video is uh, a cry for help. Genshin Impact <laughs> is a playable anime, and that's pretty good since my videos are attempts to make watchable anime. I can't believe it, guys. They made a sequel to Stockholm Syndrome. Welcome oh, no. To the world of Tavot. You may have heard of it from all the free advertising that Bruce? I'm doing. A beautiful post-apocalyptic nightmare world featuring a giant tree. Uh, sorry, that's wrong, wrong game. game. Yep. On our journey throughout the seven nations, we will meet the world's most colorful cast of children, entrusted and empowered <laughs> by the gods to wield elemental energy as dangerously as possible. I'm just a big fan of the characters in this game. There is no reason in particular. Assemble your team of heroic psychopaths and begin blasting, boating, cooking your enemies <laughs> alive, visiting baby's first casino, and with enough time, it will be baby's last casino. Oh. Most importantly, <laughs> have fun, because the game will try to stop you. I can assure you that the visual novels are exactly what Da Wei intended, so join me as I navigate one of the most beautiful, fantastical, and expensive game worlds ever made. Sure. One agonizing country at a time. This is it, guys. This is what $900 million can buy you. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Look, all I'm trying to say is... What is that, happening? This is a weird episode of Ava. Ominous. It's actually very fitting. Ooh. That's an epic little teaser right there. That was good. Nice. Wow, I haven't been here in uh, two years. <laughs> two years? Oh, wow. Welcome back to Mondstadt. And yes, the game still displays your IP address, just in case you're a little bit too critical. This place is where the player learns how to fight, learns how to kill innocent animals, learns that they are bisexual as soon as they see Kaya. So I think it's a great <laughs> opportunity to teach the basics. And uh, nothing else. The environment here looks like it shares a polygon. I think a good place to start is with our team. The Fuelgenosaria. Official. Every crew got the huh? schizophrenic. Personality disorder. Mentally and physically deranged. Wife material. I'm uh, serious about that. There's a quest where you enter her mind and she fights her tulpa. End user license agreement. <laughs> sure. Literally the only physical DPS. Possibly racist. Has the biggest slappy in Tevat. Sangun Slappy. Sang Sang <laughs> cock. And Rosaria, who is dressed promiscuously, so we need to cover her up in appropriate garments. God, yeah, apparently. Unreal. With our team assembled, we are now able to do nothing because I haven't explained the game. Genshin Impact is a based character RPG where each character wields one of the seven elements, all of them interacting completely nonsensically. Water buffs fire. Yeah. Ice freezes water. Plants buff electricity. A fucking <laughs> gas leak. Denja requires nine tabs of Khan Academy. My team is based on not playing the game as much as possible. There is genuinely no cooldown to freeze. By the way, what I'm showing you now sure. is considered tame. The game is actually supposed to look sub-mentally deranged. The numbers are helping me to understand what's happening. <laughs> of course, some characters are bad, and others are very bad, but many are absolutely game-changing. There are characters that straight up allow me to fly, at least through a uh, regular means. This one oh, yeah. with a <laughs> stick, and this one doesn't fight at all. My cock's crit rate is negative 87. The game also allows us to choose from a lot of weapons. I think I have a few copies. Each one with their own properties oh, look and at sub -stats. Sometimes too many substats. Like goddamn, I'm fighting with a Wikipedia page. We've got bows, spears, paddles, b big paddles, fish, sentient umbrella, <laughs> child's bomb instructions. I hope you can yep. see why there's a lot of variation and also theory crafting. A lot of Chinese theory crafting. They take this Being game very cheap. seriously, like right outside of a KFC seriously. And if you're wondering about the gambling, well, hell, we'll get to it later. Oh I have boy, a lot to say about it. But for now, welcome to the land of the Anemo God, who is a twink that gets kicked in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This guy's uh really jamming out. No chat, I'm not going to do that yoinky spoinky. Oh my god, he just doesn't give a fuck. So what if I just uh Oh, no. oh, he's actually like, can't be stopped. okay. Well, I guess if he can't beat him, Mondstadt is a depopulated anarchist state where there are no taxes, no police, and half the country is controlled by wolves. And no season. Wolves that you uh, never actually see, unless you want to count Razor. I mean, there's the giant wolf, but he's kind of special. Uh. What the dog doing? As a result of this, <laughs> nobody in Monsat has any money. Except for the church, of course. The city is undergoing a crappy oh, wine epidemic. Look, I just think it's a serious funding issue when the cavalry captain doesn't have a horse. Therefore, most of your time is going to be spent cleaning up their mess. Their <laughs> singular mess. Because yep. there is only one enemy in Mondstadt. Yes, from the beautiful ruins of old to the peaks of Dragonspine, 90% of the enemies you encounter are Hillitrolls. A sentient race capable poor, of empathy poor and complex thoughts. 
which is why they must be destroyed. Literally take a random location in Mondstadt. You are 10 seconds away from Halo Turtle. <laughs> why is no one unbirthing itself? Really cool that the only organization in Mondstadt so is dedicated true. to race war. They even have their own language, which I'm being quizzed on. Honestly, I'm a bit of a yay data man myself. Really feeling that muhu yay today. Don't say Nidizito, <laughs> it's basically a slur. They uh, didn't like that. Look, what I'm trying yeah, to say don't is say that. this place has problems. But ultimately, they are cool problems. Mondstadt may not be that varied, well designed, or even have a story that I can't summarize in one <laughs> sentence. The dragon was mean, and then he was nice. Sun True. Two. But ultimately, this is just the beginning of a long, long journey. This game is planned out uh, seven years in advance. So as far as the basics go, there is no better teacher than Mondstadt. But uh, pretty much just the basics. I don't think I'm staying for the boss fights. <laughs> I did, what is happening? What the fuck am I seeing? Uh, Aiden. Not wrong about my stats. Okay, can you stop playing for a sec? No. <laughs> no. I need to go to my teapot. <laughs> Real life problems. Uh oh. For the next stop on our War Crimes Tour of the Balkans, we're heading to the Funny Nation. Post about this nation to instantly gain Reddit karma. And for that, we're going to need to climb as high as we can so we can deduce the direction. So, uh, we're going to this location on the map. If only yeah. there was a better way to view the world. Make sure to land on the elevator. Next, we're going to, uh... Shit. We're what going to, uh... Heck? One second. We're going to ascend to space. I... <laughs> <laughs> Why does that work like that? Oh my I god. I didn't know that was actually a thing. Oh, shoot. I am alone shoot. in this hell on Earth. I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna be here for a little bit. You know it's real bad when the moon is physically below you. Hey guys, it's getting kind of dark, so I'm just gonna uh, change the time real quick. That, yeah, the game lets you do that. that. Well, folks, it was nice knowing Oh, you. that looks cool, though. Never mind. Ow! Huh. I didn't know you could do that either, actually. Hey guys, Max are here. And welcome to, uh, China. No, no C6. just China. Zhaoshang Haoshang Wu. Shanzai. Woyo. Bing Chiling. Wuhan Chihuan. Bing Chiling. I really hope I didn't just tank my social credit. In our previous of adventures, Probably. we explored Mondstadt to learn the basic mechanics. And also, um, race relations. So for Li Wei, we're going to learn that we've been playing the game wrong. But before I can get to that, I need to explain my team. I call it the uh, hot shower by force. Lord knows we need it. Oh, Xing that's pretty good. Xing Zhou, Xi, Xi Jinping. Yes, this Xi is Jinping. a man. I know it's hard to tell. He is also ridiculously broken on account of his ability to make enemies wet. Interpret that information <laughs> however you want. Hu Tao is the owner of a funeral parlor, and she could use a bit of new business. She is also the winner of the most terrifying Sims award. Like, the thread just doesn't end. He's still writing them. Most reasonable Hu Tao made. Uh, Yolan is a character that I play for the personality. She is also one of the most overpowered units in the game because she's a second Xing Show. I don't even care that she's a federal psyop. True. I can fix her. And Toma, who is fucking spelled wrong. Just a just, <laughs> just don't build Toma. With our team assembled, we are now Thomas. able to trivialize the combat because this team is ridiculous. But fortunately, Genshin is not just a game about combat. It's a game about gambling. You see, Genshin Impact is what we call a gotcha game because it has got me in its grasp, which means that the primary game mechanic is chance. Every character is chance. Every character, weapon is chance. Weapon. Every piece of every build Artifact. is fucking chance. Do you know what it's like to have a mathematically impossible goblet? Goddamn elating. Hey, so I see you're trying <laughs> to level up your crit rate. Well, that's a weird way to spell defense. But fortunately, we can predict the outcomes True. of our character roles using some Again. Eastern philosophies. And the answer is, um, 105 on average. But don't worry, you've got a lot hey, of time. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna wait a day. <laughs> because only nope. a few five stars are actually available. And sometimes they aren't available for 483 days. She is in prison for racism. But what are they going to do? Lock me up? Yep. So naturally, True. we need to oh, a gambling no. addiction at any cost. And there's a few ways to do that. You could explore more, go on fantastic oh. adventures, or find amazing treasures. If you want to stay poor, no. He is See, spot on right now. In the daily quests, which are a series of useful and normal missions, such as talking to people, murdering those people, talking to oh. the girls very nicely, finding the weasel. W where do you go? Yeah, that one's weird. Jumping Still. on mushrooms. Who the fuck commissioned me to do this? <laughs> we also have the power to send various characters on 20 hour expeditions directly to the coal mines. Look, guys, I really need these 2000 upgrade materials. It's just too. Uh, best you don't think about it too hard. Greetings, traveler. Uh -huh. I'm Astra Abyssal. Okay. What can I do for you today? Yeah, I'd like to uh, send a child to the coal mines. What? Put her in for 20 hours. But Traveler, she's going to die. The lithium is not going to mine itself, Catherine. But, but <laughs> Traveler. Do not question me, Catherine, or I'll have you stabbed in a future quest. Oh. Okay. That sums up Leo, eh? 
Conway is an authoritarian militaristic er, oligarchy game. controlled by a committee of really hot lesbians. I believe in Ganyu supremacy. This nation is the land of contracts, and by entering, you have made the contract to not criticize the state. Consequently, Li Wei is also where all money is printed on the planet. So, uh, <laughs> I guess Monsat's economy is powered by hopes and Not dreams. enough. And also, uh, the card game. Look, Timmy, I know your dad's dead and all, but do you want to play oh, the A minor God. side effect of this is that Li Wei is in the midst of a violent crime epidemic. As in, the majority of enemies in Li Wei are human. And even worse, they're poor. So poor, <laughs> in fact, that they're forced to fight you with Molotov cocktails and farming equipment. What is what is your plan? And hammers. Yeah, we got about hammers. Urge to dig a hole. By the way, we're the good guys. Speaking of digging holes, I should probably address this. It's a little difficult to ignore. You see, there are many beautiful places to see in Li Wei, such as Night City, the fucking rice fields, Cyberpunk. the most annoying place to navigate on the earth. Like, please stop giving me commissions here. And yeah, then that's we have the Chasm, which is a secret underground labyrinth containing all of the game's Eldritch Horrors. And yes, this is just the entrance to the Chasm. Ditch. Yeah, there's no sound effect for that. If you die down here, no one will hear your screams. As soon as you think you're done exploring, it just it just keeps going down. The devs had to add moon shoes to the game so I could keep playing it. <laughs> moon now shoes. That we're trapped down here. We only have two options remaining. We moon need to shoes. mine and we need to craft. The second part will come later. Okay, so now it's later. That you Unfortunately, back. I cannot craft a sense of humor. Look, what I'm trying to say is, Li Wei is a very diverse place. It's certainly more diverse than Hillitrill Field Number Six. But <laughs> most importantly, Li Wei is a land of questions. What secrets lie in this mysterious land? What adventures are still to be had? Am I gay now? It's almost enough to make you forget the nightmare <laughs> pit. And look, Li Wei might have a few issues with organized crime, sea monster attacks. It happens twice, and the yeah, landscape literally. is trying to kill me. But hey, at least the story's up. It's okay. Can anyone? Can anyone here tell me why? Why? why like there's a <laughs> when there's like a giant bird next to me it's weird <laughs> oh fuck where am i <laughs> diagon alley diagon alley this is like this is like spot on so far honestly of course in a comedic way what's up gang it's me artaki so what <laughs> Spot on. And that sums up. Oh, never mind. Okay, guys, listen. We need to reach Japan. Don't worry. I have a plan to bypass immigration. We are going to walk there. Yes, that's right. We're yeah, going good to. Good luck with that. Excuse me. We're going to travel underneath the ocean. So apparently, I just have to. Um. Uh huh. That actually what? worked. What? Okay, I think I've. Uh, what are these glitches? Mistake. It's time to descend into the abyssal zone. Just to watch out for the void. Uh, what do I do about this? So I think I've been walking what for the uh, hell? twenty minutes. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> okay, we're pretty close now, so uh, I don't think we're close enough. Please no. Please no. Please no. I am drowning there. Oh, that was pretty cool though. No, you can do that. What is up, my Thades and gentle thems? Welcome to nice. the land of Inazuma, a home to nobody because no one is properly housed in Inazuma. Previously, Monsanto no, taught us how to play, and Li Wei taught us how to simp. Well, the land of lightning <laughs> is here to teach us that we have not felt true pain yet. But first, let's go over our team, which I will be calling the uh, Yandere Benzos. Yaiviko, Yandere Benzos. Sorry, Sigma female kidnapped a man and forced feminized him. God, I wish that was me. Traveler, I'm making a Wait, call and post what? to my Twitter.com. What the fuck are you saying? I'm gonna piss on the fucking moon. Bruce, you can literally name him Bruce. That is actually how it appears in game. In fact, <laughs> we can name him all kinds of things such as Baby Girl, Dr. Ligma, Wobusha Dr. Wall, Ball Fart, Testicles. Could you? What wow. is that? And last but not least, Hokushish, Hatsune Miku. This is literally Hatsune just Miku. Miku. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. And Bennett, who is the really? single most overpowered unit in the game. Like, Genshin doesn't have power creep because of Bennett. Send this bitch to the coal mines and have his testicles exploded. <laughs> now, my previous teams, they were kind of nice. But this time, I'm not playing nice. I'm playing for funny numbers. Every single member is optimized beyond the boundaries of reason. I rolled six copies of Hatsune Miku, and now I can kill Tortellini in two attacks. It uh, costs Dang. $50. Also, Bruce can uh, fly. Like, $50. actual flight. It breaks like half the game's AI when you do it. They're just very confused. My entire team is him shooting down at the peasants like an huh. attack helicopter. Just uh, don't ask me how long I farmed for this. I had to grind for this view. For this view. We all know the emblem farm. Hang on a fucking second. She's wearing socks in the water. Something is horribly wrong with this country. 
Inazuma is a third world isolationist dictatorship, mostly occupied by catastrophic disasters, both natural and man made. But mostly man made. Me and the fellows yeah, watching definitely. Oppenheimer in the IMAX. Inazuma is also engulfed in a decades long civil war, resulting in mass unemployment and a refugee crisis. <laughs> Naturally, this is reflected in the enemy variety, because to visit Inazuma is to be accosted by hundreds of jacked homeless people. Like these guys just Shacked stand in the rain all day. People? How do the Hillary trolls have more shelter than this? It is also a land of many islands, which all act as their own individual insurgencies. So I think this is a great opportunity to educate you as to why you should never visit Itazuma. You know, besides uh, the fucking puzzles. This shit is the work of we Satan. Never the go to Itazuma. Is the only place in Itazuma resembling a civilization. The rest is basically just Martin Luther King Boulevard. The only disaster this uh. island has to worry about is the government. And her name is the Raiden Shogun. Kanazuka is the first island to be made uninhabitable by nuclear weapons testing, which then proceeds to leak out of the elephant's foot in an amount so dangerous it makes Chernobyl look like clown college. I mean, <laughs> I guess there's also the Kujo encampment, but uh, we don't go to the Kujo yeah, encampment. Yeah, no one goes. No well, one goes. Enough of that. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Yashiori <laughs> is an absolute nightmare on account of the non-stop <laughs> lightning storm and uh, slightly imposing giant skull. My favorite activity is uh, going to this place. It limits the land the light it can strike, so it just fucking whacks you. Looks like another beautiful Shoot. day in the great land of Inazuma. Of course, I could fix the problem if I wanted to, but when I began the quest to remove the lightning, I was struck by it. So I'm gonna take that as a sign from God. Seirai Island is what happens when Mr. Beast donates 50 megatons of ionizing radiation to families to be. <laughs> like, this shit makes Evangelion look like a comedy special. The fact that there aren't oh, even no. homeless people here probably tells you all you need to know. Surumi Island is a very isolated Mr. place. Beast. Populated for thousands of years by bird worshipping savages who need their mineral resources <laughs> exploited. President Biden, please send Raytheon missiles so I can buy Dasani water and Cheetos. I just think it has something Jesus. to do with the uh, interdimensional dog. Watatsumi Island is really nice. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Does this even count as an island? It's just so beautiful. I sure hope it's not hiding some kind of horrifying dark secret. Surely. Oh. Enkonomia is fucking Atlantis. You get there by jumping into the giant sure. hole and it's like, how is this legal? Are the developers okay? This place was once home to a thriving civilization, which collapsed nearly instantly after they discovered TikTok. It also <laughs> allows me to toggle the powers of the artificial sun. And uh, holy shit, this 5G connection is crazy. Look, I think you've got the idea at this point. As much as I've talked about reactions and uh, children, Genshin Impact at its core is an exploration game because it makes you explore your sexuality. And that fact alone makes Inazuma one of the best areas. If you don't count the story, please kill me, mommy. I've been a bad boy. <laughs> and okay, this nation might be lacking in housing, basic infrastructure, and some unbombed land. But honestly, that's just part of the rustic charm. How else do you think this island got a giant crater? Just uh, be glad sure. you don't have to live in Inazuma. It's all fun and games until you piss off the geometry. Hmm. Not piss off the geometry. He said. Hi guys, it's me, Goro. Goro. Oh, is that peanut butter? <laughs> what the fuck? Peanut butter. <laughs> I guess. I love his interpretations. All right, fellas, for our next stop, we're going to enter the weed land. We need to smoke that Zaza and fall unconscious. And to do that, all we have to do is not be stuck in Itazuma. So if you were a fan of our undersea adventure, then don't worry. This glitch is much worse. All we've got to do oh, is... Oh, uh, boy. Whatever that was. I can't let go of the W button, by the way. Get ready to receive some Holy Spirit. Uh, what was okay, that? so we're just we're just going down to we're we're going to we're going to Silent Hill now. Sorry guys, it looks I like we're uh, approaching what? meltdown. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Maxo. <laughs> uh, one second, guys. My mom's calling me. Uh, hey, Bob, one second. I'm flying to get that Zaza. What does that mean? It means I'm low-key in a battle bus. Sometimes I wish you were normal. Okay, uh, we're we boys. Oh no. Perfectly. Jesus. Holy hell. Oh, his editing is like ridiculous. Like, holy. Hey there, my little Genshits. Welcome to the <laughs> land of Sumeria, uh, Sumeru. Hittite jump scare. Sumeria. The only nation in Genshin Impact that can use the internet, mostly for racism. Good to see that nothing's changed. It is also um, absurdly Dang. gigantic. Like, the map screen can't even see all of it. But before we can get into the intricacies of Sumerian society, I have to explain my team. The, uh, the kindergarten. Ooh, Nikita it's... is... I can explain. My girl is 10, but she is 10. Nahida is the literal god of knowledge. If you count knowledge as the personal thoughts of every NPC in Sumeru, which <laughs> she can read, even when I log into Discord, there's no escaping her. Oh my oh, fucking god, gosh. I'm still typing it. What How the many emotes do these people have? Um, does 
watching you count as a hobby? What? I've actually been watching you for a long time. Now. <laughs> Excuse me, what Nilu has a completely hollow skull. There is nothing happening inside her head. Oh. She could not pass my exam. Saganomiya Koko. Wait, I've seen you before, but fellas, I've got something to admit. You huh? see, Kokomi's damage oh, scales on health, her healing scales on health, and yes, even her health scales on health. So naturally, when it came time to build her, I, um, used the wrong stat. It makes the numbers funnier. Yao Yao is oh, very no, that's, cute that's good. and buddy. Her play style is chill and relaxing. In fact, you don't even have to play as Yao Yao. You play as her artificial beast given <laughs> life. It uh, throws <laughs> vegetables at them. How many people would you kill for Yao Yao is not the right question. The right question is how many people I would allow to live. Personally, I mm. think this team is really really good for not having a DPS. And we are going to need it for all the funny and interesting events this game has to all offer. All dogs? Because, dear viewer, I lied to you. The best way to make money is not actually the Weasel minigame. It is participating in temporary event content, which I can only describe as punishment for uh, yes. who are too insane. Event content such as Prop Hunt, a game where you disguise yourselves as various household items to escape the wrath of very stupid people. Oh god, I think <clears> he's got a whiff. Wow, guys, this is just like Genshin Impact. Yeah, but I don't have to pay to see kids. You know what? I think it's about oh. time that I show off my Winning strategies. Fellas, I've got a good feeling about this one. All we've got to do is, uh. Yep. Next, you gotta. You gotta do this. What? He will never find me this way. D does he know? Oh my god, he doesn't know. Wait a second. No. All right, fellas, oh, I got a plan yep, for this map. Done. We're just gonna stand here. He has no clue. I, I can't. Why is it working like this? I'm sorry, guys. Looking up is really this hard. This is a really I'm nice. Torturing this man. You could say that he's, uh, that he's among us. We Handful of clips. Content like the boat minigame. I'm having so much fun with the boat mini game. The <laughs> Pokemon Tournament Arc. I, what is happening on my screen? Does that man have a fucking gun? The bo Beetle yes. Cock Fighting. I've always wanted to beat a child. And my personal favorite, Chinese New Year. Because it makes me the most money. Just uh, don't look up any of the cutscenes. Yeah, uh oh. Uh oh. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, Vitao, I think you've got some hidden talent. Please keep it hidden. That rap wasn't Aww. released, it fucking escaped. God. He's really up to date with this. Like, it's good. Kaya, you gotta watch out, buddy. You're, you're fucking, you're rolling to the ragging too much. <laughs> Sumeru is an autocratic Orwellian surveillance state with a little hint of a oh, governed by the worst organization imaginable, University. This nation is the land of knowledge, with most of it being devoted to new, more efficient ways to be racist. And to that end, Sumeru is segregated between two distinct parts, each with their yep. own unique ways to kill you. The forest is a terrifying safari hellscape where each animal is not only able to kill you, but is evolved to. We've got tigers, cows, crocodiles, oh, the picture of it. <laughs> fungus dinosaur. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And my favorite animal type, poor people. But most importantly, yeah, the might. forest is where the white people live, and they're filling the library with video essays. This is the Academia, who controls Subaru by spreading misinformation on the internet. Raiden, the <laughs> Academia doesn't want you to know this, but you can steal ducks from the public park. Th they're free, Raiden. The desert is a desolate, abandoned Raiden. wasteland, once home to a thriving civilization. Before the Caucasoids built a giant wall between them. Does does anyone else think this is weird? Samuel. We've got scorpions. We've got scorpions. Welcome. To Jurassic Hell. We've got the uh Never mind. So is he gonna like uh yes. Okay. And we've got worm demons. But my personal <laughs> favorite obstacle is definitely the gigantic fire. Oh, what the there heck? Are, of course, even more enemies. But most of them are just the liberal propaganda to make you believe that race mixing is a physical need. And fellas, it's working. But hey, the desert isn't all that bad, as long as you ignore the racist genie quest. Motherfucker graduated from casual genie. to competitive racism. Alright, later, Max. What Wait, what? I gotta go AFK real quick. D no, you can't do this to me. <laughs> Look, what the point is Subaru is massive, and it's not even done. And also Leeway isn't done. And also Mondstadt. Yeah. But what Subaru does have is an actually good story. Like, out of all the True. things I expected, Harvard Building and Evangelion was not one of them. You can't tell me what to do anymore, Mom. I'm finally inside of another man. I am the all-knowing God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they really made this boss fight. Mobile game, by the way. So whether you're exploring deep in the woods at 4 a.m., finding not amazing oases, God, I sure hope nothing whimsical happens here. <gasps> Fighting oh. more minorities. I'm trying to be a police officer. Or doing the oh. eight-hour gnome people quest. That is a, a, that is a lot of side quests. <laughs> there will always be a new surprise in Sumeru. And if future content is even a fraction as good as this, then I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Because, you know, I wasn't doing that already. I mean, was it? Was it not? I'm glad he caught, he's like, he caught on to everything. What the fuck? 
Sino, the Sino, where are you going? This man is fucking tweaking out right now. How is he doing this? Noise. Oh you no. You know what, guys? Before I go, I want to give you all a fun tip that most Genshin players don't know. The age of consent is 18 years old. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was so good. Yeah, I'll be honest, you know, I knew that Maxor played Genshin in the beginning, um, and enough to like, you know, to where he was like, he knew a good amount of things. He played the story from the first part, but yeah, I didn't think that he was going to like continue, you know, I didn't think that he was like up to date with it as it is right now. You know, like he even has Wander, like he has all the new characters and whatnot. So that was actually pretty shocking for me. Uh, I didn't think he was going to be like up to date with everything. Um, and he really, really is up to date too. Cause like. He, you know, he's at like the consecutive bees and stuff like that. So, you know, he's actually realized that the story was good in Sumeru. So, yeah, I was shocked to, to see that because usually when you're, you know, making the content, you don't have too much time to play it, to play games. But, um, yeah, so I'm surprised he actually was like up to date with everything and actually is knows what's, you know. <laughs> Got that. But anywho, uh, he's very, very, very accurate with <laughs> with his uh his explanations here by bird worshiping savages who need their mineral resources exploited president that's my favorite part honestly <laughs> and his editing is so good to the point where like there were so many things in the video that like you can't even really catch because it's going by so fast you'd have to actually pause the video just to see like like this email this note um you know the things on the screen like i saw yeah that's like a couple like people people's reactions here like streamer reactions there's like notes on the screen, like this, you know, uh, YouTube videos, why we're get, getting Klee. It's like a million stuff on the screen, at the, at, like so fast. And this is just like Max Rose kind of editing style. But yeah, it's funny, man. This is a very good video once again. Um, and very accurate with, uh, in, in a comedic way for the, all the, the regions. So I am glad that he actually likes it. Uh, I'm glad that he actually, you know, plans to continue playing it. Maybe we'll get like a part three Genshin video at some point. Once we get like maybe two, three more regions, but yeah, great video. Um, definitely enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it yourself if you watched the video already. And yeah, that's uh, here's to some more, more shenanigans. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one.